What's up guys, it's Jacob or DazaX here, coming to you guys new video. This video is basically going to be going over my LVY, my weak auras, basically my whole UI in general. So everything that you see on my screen right now is what I will be going covering in this whole video. I'll be covering how to install every single add-on that I have, as well as how to import everything from LVY to weak auras, all that kind of stuff as well. So also I'll be doing timestamps so you guys can skip to certain points in video so let's say you want to just get my UI or you just get my weak auras you guys can skip to certain points in video where you just need that specific help on let's say you don't want UI you just want weak auras I'll be going there as well but other than that I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get right into it so the way you guys want to install it is basically I'm gonna have all these links in the description as well uh, first off you guys want to go to the link that says 2Ki uh, or something like that but first off you guys want to go to LVI download You'll be present, presented with this screen right here. So obviously you just go into here, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see it, download LVI. Once you are here, you go to your whatever wherever you guys have WoW installed. For me, it's program files 86, World of Warcraft, interface, add-ons. And once you guys have LVI installed, it'll pop open and WinRAR most likely. Drag that right over here for you guys. So yeah, you'll get these two options right here. All you need to do is go to your, just drag these two options into here. Now for me, I already have it installed. So it should, yep, so it should say replace files. I'm not going to do that though, uh, only because I already have it installed. So there's really no point in me doing that. As well, there was a guy named Blinky who made a really, really good uh, UI that I kind of I use I use kind of as like a base as well, but I changed a lot of the options. So a lot of these options I did change. So I would be putting that link down below as well. But he has a certain add-on that you guys need to have. So for this page right here, it'll also be in the description below. All you really need to do is click download now, and it'll give you this LVI Maui. <clears throat> now this right here is basically the same exact thing. You just drag this into here. You know, for me, it says, obviously, you know, I already have the files in there, so I'm not going to do it. But for you, it will not have that. So you just continue with doing that. As well as for Twitch, all you need to do is, most people have this Twitch desktop uh, installed already. So you should go to My Add-ons, and then go to Get More Add-ons. You should want to type Weak Auras. And then Weak Auras 2 will pop up here. Now just click Install, and you'll be all done for that part of the section. Also, before I get guys as well, you guys want to type bug in the get more add-on section. So type bug. And what you guys want to download is bug grabber and bug sack. Now these allow you to make sure that whenever you're using LU LUI, whenever you get LUA user, uh, errors, these do not pop up on your screen so you don't get really distracted and have to deal with those errors. So make sure you download bug sack and bug grabber. As well guys, we do need one more add-on though. Uh, we're going to need shadow and light for LUI. So all you do is type shadow inside here and you'll see something called LVY shadow and light. All I do is click install that also and you'll be all set to go for all the items you currently need for this week auras. So now that we're actually in the game now, what you guys want to do is just, obviously these probably will already be enabled for you, but you want to enable these right here. So now that we're in the game guys, just go to your add-on control panel and all that and make sure you have these enabled. You more than likely already have these enabled just by downloading and all that. But for me, I disabled everything just to go through and make sure I show you guys, you know, everything you have to have. As well as you want to have mask involved, that's already enabled, should be already enabled, like I'm trying to say there. Can't really, can't really speak for some reason. And as well, you guys want to have weak auras installed as well. So all these should already be enabled if you just download the add-ons, like I said. Make sure we have everything. We have weak auras, mask. And as well, you guys want to have shared media. That one should be installed already, though. Okay, we should be good on that. So you guys want to reload your uh, UI. And then now we'll be able to go and uh, make sure we how we import the profile. But the way you guys want to import the profile is you once you get this, you'll get this LVI installation thing. Now, all you really need to do for this is just keep clicking continue. Just keep clicking continue, finish, and you'll get three of these things that pop up. Come on. There we go. Then you get the uh, MAUI one. And then you will get another one called Shadow and Light. Keep just just go through everything like this and then click finish. This is really easy. This is like honestly one of the really easiest parts, guys. Now know how to get into LVI. All you really need is go to your chat box down below, type slash E C, and you'll be pres presented with this right here. Now this is obviously where all the configuration for LVI is. 
Now, obviously, we have the string below. We just go to the string that we had, which is right here. And this is what would be in the description as well. Go to raw paste data, just copy everything that's inside of here. Then you want to go to profiles down here, import profile. And you'll be presented with this box right here. All you have to do is press control V and then import now. Change it whatever you want. Let's just say Daza X test. That's fine. Yep. Then we'll have our bars and all that enabled. So now we're all good to go. We have that. Perfect. So for me, sometimes it takes a little bit. So all I have to do is slash reload for everything to work again. Not too sure why it does that, but you gotta do slash reload and things work for some reason. But there we go. Now we have all our bars and we are all set. Now, obviously, you guys gotta configure. Uh, if you guys are just now like using LVY, you guys can figure how to get keybinds and all that. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to action bars right here, the below plus sign, general options, and then click keybind mode. And this allows you to hover over any one of your spells and just press the key. Let's say I want to have energy, the this one right here. Just press shift one. Now that one's enabled to use shift one. I go shift two, shift three, shift four, shift five, shift, you know, I can just go all throughout these and just do whatever I want with them. Okay. Now, when you guys are done, just press save and you'll be all set for that right there. Okay. Now also that's really it for my uh, UI right there. It's pretty simple on that aspect. Next, we can go into configure some more things. We can go to our, our player frame. If you guys want to have the player frame be a little bit bigger, or if you guys want to have the, uh, the player frame always be there. I only have it when I'm in combat. So if you guys want to make sure when it's out, uh, when you're out of combat, you want to have it shown as well. Just click combat fade as well for the player frame. You guys can make the, everything a lot bigger too. So we can even go here to the general tab again, and we can make the width even bigger, the height even bigger. We can add all these different features into our stuff as well. And a really good tip also, if you guys want to have the text bigger, see how it says desert X and my health, we go through custom texts. Now these texts right here, these guys were obviously made by blink. You can go through, just increase the font size and you guys can do the Y offset and just decrease it wherever you guys want it. Let's just have it there. We can go through here again, make this one a little bit bigger, drag this one down. The name, we can make the name bigger, sure. Have this one here. And they'll be all set on that aspect. We can have a font outline as well. Let's just, just do a little bit of outline, thick outline, monochrome outline, or no outline, whatever you guys really want to use for that. So all this stuff right here is able to help you guys, you know, customize your stuff as much as possible. I'm not going to go into a full guide on how to use LVUI, but that's how I set up my LVUI. And now we'll get into the weak auras and how to install the weak auras for the balance street. So the way you guys want to import weak auras is also really easy as well. All you really need is type slash WA in the chat. You can present with this right here. And obviously you're not going to have all these add-ons. I mean, all these weak auras right here, but other than that, you'll just see this box to the right, right here. Click import, go to the paste bin. The first thing you'll see in the description below is called astral power. Copy all this data right here, go to the paste bin, just copy and paste. And you'll get presented with this little thing right here. All you do is press import group. Okay. Now we have the astral power right here. Same thing for the other one. Go back to new at the very top, click import. We go to the Daza dots, weak auras, copy all the data inside there. Go back to weak auras and press control V and then you're good to go. Just press import group and you're all set. So now whenever we attack the target, we see that we're gaining astral power. We put dots on target and it's even doing the cooldown saying like, okay, we have this amount, we have this to be taken for this long and all that as well. Okay. So also there's a few other things we can do with weak auras as well. If you guys don't know the timing left on your moon, uh, your moon fire and your sun fire, I don't really need to know that personally, but it's pretty easy to go into do. So all you really need is press the plus sign on the Daza X dots weak auras, go down to the inferno blast five, two, go to display. Press text, oh, text right here under t number two text settings. This will show you how much time is left on your uh, moonfire. So let's just decrease the size a little bit. We can do the same thing for the other one. IC flows two, three, two. Go to the settings right here. Number two dot settings, size, decrease the size a little bit. You can press X and now whenever we do apply moonfires, sunfires, we can see how much time is left on them. Personally, I don't really like that as much, but it's whatever you guys really want to do for that. That's really it for the weak auras, guys. One other thing we can do, though, uh, if you guys want to make them bigger, it's really easy as well. So just click on the main group. Let's say I want to have astral power bigger. All we do is go to the group plate, the group page, and click group scale and just make it bigger. You can put drag it wherever you want. Let's say I want to have it here, right? 
let's say I want to have this here and let's just move these and put them over here, right? You can honestly do whatever you guys want with these as well. So there's so much customization you can do with Wakeors that help benefit you a lot when you're playing Balanced Druid. Make sure you're updating your dots all the time. As well for Solar Empowerment, whenever you Star Surge, I get one Empowerment proc and I, when I use it, there's no more Empowerment procs. Same thing for Solar Wrath, there's no more Solar Wrath procs. So it's really good to make sure you, you know, you know which kind of procs you're using, you know what you have and you don't have. So it's really good to make sure you optimize and min-max your DPS. Uh, that's really it for the week or guys and that's really it for the guide in general i hope this guide helped you guys understand you know how to use week or how to use lvi to an extent right obviously there's a lot to do with lvi but week or is pretty easy to use uh hopefully this helped you all and i really do appreciate all the support i've gotten a lot of questions about my ui so other than that though i really hope you guys enjoy this ui it took, it took a little bit of time working on it so Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and as well, please check out my Twitch stream, Twitch stream, can't even talk, twitch.tv slash dazx, and I will see you all next time for another Boomkin video. Later, guys.